The lowest scoring game in NBA history was so insane the league had to change its rule. They had only eight field goals combined and one player scored in double figures. Each coach has different tricks up their sleeves to win a basketball game. Bill Jackson has the triangle offense, Mike D'Antoni has the seven seconds or less offense, and almost all coaches will change their defensive game plan depending on the matchup. For coach Murray Mendenhall, his game plan on November 22nd, 1950 was to find a loophole in the rule book and keep it as low scoring as possible. He was the coach of the Fort Wayne Pistons and they faced the Minneapolis Lakers on the road who won their last 29 home games. So what did he do? After the Pistons led by one at the end of the first quarter, they trailed 13 to 11 by the end of the first half. Mendenhall was content. After all, at least they weren't getting blown out. So by the start of the second half, all the Pistons did was pass the ball around for as long as they can, which wasn't really a problem since the game happened before the shot clock was invented. Surprisingly, his game plan worked. After three quarters against a much better Laker team, the underdog Pistons only trailed by three points in the final six seconds of the game. The Lakers still had one point lead and were looking to extend their home win streak by 30. But on the Pistons' final possession, rookie Larry Faust cuts to the basket, throws up a prayer over George McCann, and scores his only field goal to beat the Lakers 19-18. Yep. You heard that right. Their final score was less than what most teams have nowadays by the end of the first quarter. But men in all strategy did work. So if there's one way you can win a basketball game with the odds clearly against you, practice might not be the answer. All you need to do is find a loophole nobody knows about.